Hello, hello, good evening, and welcome everyone to our Think Like a Pro weekly Wednesday Team Zoom training call. Well, Think Like a Pro was created by four Life Vantage elite crossline leaders led by Vandy Flake, Debbie Crowell, Dr. Jean DeLucia, and myself. So each week we bring you a variety of leaders who has the knowledge and expertise in building a successful team. And um, tonight, I'm thrilled and proud to introduce to you a very special woman and loved by the many. A very good friend of mine and actually one of my trusted business mentors. She is highly respected in our company, has several years of experience in the medical field and actually worked in an ER department as registered nurse. So she is a true health advocate and uh, well knowledgeable in our products. She's also been in Life Vantage for 10 years and she will share with us her story of why Life Vantage. And here it goes. She will discuss the science behind our flagship product NRF to activation pro tandem and how it is poised to replace the antioxidant industry and revolutionize the world so we all can learn a great deal of information when we talk to our prospects. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Elite Pro 7, Miss Marsha Livingstone. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just really excited to be here. And I, I love the opportunity to talk not only about the products, um, but about the business as well. But tonight we're gonna focus mostly on those products. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of history, of my history with this company. I was introduced to LifeVantage in 2010 by a physician that I had worked with off and on for about 25 years. He was a good family friend as well as a colleague at work. And uh, he, he called me on the phone and said, there's the video I want you to watch. I said, okay, well, what is it? Well, it's important, he said. I said, okay, what's it about? Well, it's a breakthrough. In what? <laughs> you know, we kind of went back and forth like this. And finally he said, I don't want to mess it up. I want you to just watch it and see what I saw. Well, I'm from Michigan. And, and uh, a, a little bit of my background, yes, I'm a registered nurse and I've been in the healthcare world for about over 35 years actually. And during that time, um, I probably participated in just about every type of nursing that there was from delivering babies, which I did even before I went to nursing school, I was a lay midwife and I delivered babies at home. Um, but I went back to school to become a nurse because I knew I couldn't fix the system from the outside. And the system was broken when it came to uh, family friendly birthing options. So that kind of started my, my whole career in the healthcare world, but it took a turn into administration. And so I became very familiar, painfully familiar with the business aspect of healthcare and the problems um, that existed not only for patients, but for physicians and for hospitals to get paid um, adequately. Now we have, I'm gonna say the best healthcare in the world in this country, but there are still parts of the Western medicine model that are less than optimum. Um, so if you could hang on for just a second. Sorry. Um, so when my friend wanted me to look at this video, I didn't really understand what it was. <clears throat> and so I didn't for a long time, for like months went by. And he continued to encourage me to watch this video. Um, I can't say that he was pushy at all because that's not the case. That's not who he is. <clears throat> but he called regularly, like every two to three weeks 
for months, like seven or eight months to get me to watch this video. So there's a clue there, folks, on follow-up. <laughs> follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. It matters. It matters. So eventually, uh, my sister came to my door one day and said, my doc wants me to take some stuff that he thinks will help with my knee. She'd had a knee replacement. But she said, I have to order it on the internet, and I don't like to buy stuff there, and I don't know what it is, so will you research it and let me know? Well, sure enough, it was the same thing that my physician friend had been trying to get me to look at. Well, I told my sister I would, so I was kind of hooked at that point. But I also said to myself, okay, now this is two physicians that are encouraging looking at this. So I did, and it was the ABC Primetime Investigative Report. And if you have not yet seen that, I encourage all of you to take the time to watch it. So when I... When I watched this, um, I was amazed because I knew about oxidative stress, but I also knew there wasn't any way to really deal with it. And so for this company to be making claims that it was actually going to be able to reduce oxidative stress in 30 days by about 40% on average, that was astounding. And if in fact it was true, it, it could really change the way we do healthcare. So when I stopped watching the video, I went to a couple of websites that I still had access to, to begin the research because I needed to know if this was real science or was this just some lab that the company hired to run a few tests and say, you've got a great product. And what I found, and this is 2011, I found seven peer-reviewed published research papers on PubMed, which is the National Institute of Health's website. And it's the library or the repository for peer-reviewed research from all over. And to find seven on the product itself and not on the ingredients individually, but actually on this product was another big eye opener for me because companies don't, you know, the scientific world does not research natural products typically. They just don't. Uh, so to find that much information was pretty amazing. So I downloaded all of them, all seven of them and stayed up all night reading them. Now they're really boring. <laughs> they got a lot of big words and I don't recommend it. <laughs> unless you're really into that kind of thing. But what it, what it helped me understand is that this was actually real science. This was being done by companies that, that were um, wanting to find answers to problems they were already dealing with. And I at, at first didn't understand why they were willing to look, but as I began to understand more about Dr. McCord, uh, he was actually known as the father of free radical biology and medicine because he discovered SOD, superoxide dismutase, um, which was something in 1969 uh, when he was going working on his doctorate, they didn't really understand what it did. They said, this is, this is something that has the odd function, in, function of neutralizing free radicals. Um, and they weren't really clear on what that meant or the long-term ramifications, but he knew it was an answer to a really big question. And so the next 40 years, basically, he spent trying to figure out how to increase the body's ability to make more of this um, oxidative stress killer, a way to neutralize that oxidative stress. And working with some other gentlemen um, in, the, in the herbal world, they came up with Protandum. NRF2 activator. And so the ABC primetime investigative report that you've seen, or if not, hopefully will soon see, um, was a, it was a film that talked about why this was real. 
Now, investigative reporters typically go into um, a company to prove that what they're doing is fraudulent. So that was really their initial goal was to go in there and say, this company's making this claim and it's just not true. But what they found out was not only was it true, it probably was way bigger than what anybody even understood at that point in time. So having read those seven studies, while I was doing so, I made a list of people that I was reading might have improvements in their health status from this product. And when I got done, I had 12 names on the list. So I went to my friend's website that I'd scribbled on a piece of paper and still knew where to find. And I ordered 12 bottles. Well, then I called him and it was about 4.30 in the morning when I called him because I'd been up all night reading those studies and he was working midnights in an emergency department near where I live. So I called him and apologized for being such a bonehead for so many months and not even being willing to look at it. And uh, I said, I ordered 12 bottles. And he said, oh, you what? And I said, well, I ordered 12 bottles, is that bad? He said, well, no, it's not bad, but you need some more information. I said, oh, well, okay. Well, when you get off shift, come on over, I'll feed you breakfast and you can tell me the rest of the story. So he came over and he explained to me that if I bought one more bottle, because at that point we only had one product, NRF2, activator, pro tandem. And if I got one more, then I would be positioned to receive commissions. And I said, well, I don't do network marketing. <laughs> Well, I'm from Michigan and about 60 miles from where I live is the headquarters for Amway. And somebody had been trying to get me into Amway my whole life. And my husband had been in it and my daughters had been in it, but I didn't want anything to do with Amway. And so I just had a really bad idea of what network marketing was about. And he said, well, okay. He said, that's fine. You certainly don't have to, but you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that if you got one more bottle, you'd, you'd be eligible for those commissions. And he said, but you just send them to me. I said, send who to you? He said, well, you bought 12 bottles. I'm assuming they weren't all for you. Well, right. He said, well, you know, what we're finding is if you show it to 10 people, eight of them say, where do I get some of that stuff? And maybe there's a couple of people that are looking for another stream of income. And so now my business brain is kicking in. I'm you know, thinking, well, I ordered 12 bottles. That's two more than 10. So maybe there is money in there. And I didn't understand it at all. But I didn't want to miss out. You know, that FOMO, that fear of missing out. I didn't want to miss out just in case. So I said, okay but you're not gonna bug me to do this business. <laughs> he said, no, I'm not gonna bug you. I wanted you to know what's coming because this is huge. This has the potential to change the way that we do healthcare. If, Cause if we can address things at the root and maybe even avoid them ever coming to fruition, them ever happening, the disease ever becoming a thing in our bodies, that's a big deal. I said, okay, all right. Well, I just started sharing it with everybody that I knew. I shared it with my kids and they shared it with their friends. And there was a little bit more to that story from the business perspective. And that was that I called, I wasn't gonna call anybody. I didn't, I didn't want, Anybody to think I was doing network marketing. So I wasn't going to call anybody. But if it happened to come up, then I would bring it up. So I started with my kids because that's easy. But sure enough, about two hours after my friend left, I got a call from a pharmacist friend that I used to work with who now lived in California. And I hadn't seen him or talked to him in almost two years. And he called that day. 
And he said, well, what's going on? And I said, well, geez, why are you calling? I mean, good to hear from you. But he said, I don't know. I just, today was the day I just decided I had to talk to you. And I said, well, it's funny because he knew my physician friend. And I said, Paul was just here. And he told me about this product. And then I went into the science with him because I knew he'd get that science. And he was really quiet. And I got all done talking about the science. And I thought, oh, phooey, that's what network marketers do. They throw up all over people. <laughs> and I just did that to my friend. And so then I said, okay, well, anyway, so that's that. And what's going on with you? And he said, no, 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 sign me up. I said, sign you up? He said, yeah. I said, well, okay, well, I'll send you a bottle just as soon as I get here. He said, no, I don't, I don't want a bottle. He said, I need to be a distributor. I said, you do? Why? He said, I don't have anything like that on the shelves in this pharmacy. This is big. Don't you get it? I'm going, sure. I didn't get it. I, from, from the business perspective, I didn't get it at all. I said, well, okay, but I don't know how to do that. He said, well, write down my credit card number and figure it out and call me back. Hmm. I said, okay. Well, I took his number and hung up the phone and my friend had gone to bed because he worked midnights and I didn't know how to get a hold of anybody at the company, so I just didn't do anything. But even a couple hours later, I got another call from another friend who was a retired professional football player who also lived in California. I hadn't talked to him in two years. And he called. And he wanted to know what was going on and, you know, anything new. And I said, well, I learned about something that might help with your bad knees and your bad back and your neck and I said I can't guarantee anything because I haven't even tried it myself but the science is pretty phenomenal and he said great sign me up and I said okay I'll send you a bottle just as soon as they get here oh no I don't want to be a, bo a bottle I want to be a distributor I said you what what why do you want to be a distributor he said because all of my friends are old athletes and we all hurt everywhere. And if this will help even a little bit, that, you know, this stuff will fly out of here. I said, well, okay, um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but he said, well, here's my credit card number. Just figure it out and call me back. <laughs> so I hung up the phone again. And I thought, okay, the good Lord's really getting at me here because he knew I wasn't ever going to pick up the phone and call anybody. So the people are calling me and I don't know what to do with this. And I don't know anything about the business and I don't know anything about the company. All I know is the science. So I called my daughter who is a financial planner who understands the business side and how to research it. So I told her what was going on and said, I, my friends want to get involved and I don't really know enough to feel comfortable. Could you check it out and let me know? And she said she would and call me back and she didn't and she didn't call and the whole day went by and now I'm beginning to worry that she doesn't want to tell me that it's a bad deal. But eventually we talked after dinner and she said, I'm really sorry, mom. I had meetings all day long. I just, I got so busy. I just couldn't get back to you, but I bought 5,000 shares. I said, you what? <laughs> she said, well, I bought 5,000 shares. I said, you mean it's publicly traded? She said, oh, yeah, everything's there. I could see it all. She said, I, you know, they've been through some really hard times. She said, but I think they'll be, they'll be debt free in a couple of years. So, yeah, I think you're really onto something here. Then she pronounced or proceeded to tell me that she bought the shares for herself. She didn't buy the shares for me. So I said, well, tomorrow you buy me 5,000 shares. Now they were pennies at the time. I think she paid 68 cents and or 60, 62 cents. And by the next day I had to pay 68 cents a share, but it was publicly traded. And the fact that she could go back and see from the beginning what had happened with this company was a big deal. So that was my first day. She became my third distributor. And within 10 days I had 
received a check from the company for what it cost me to get started. So I was in the black within a week and a half. Also, I never heard of any such thing like that with network marketing before. So the product is what drove me in the beginning. Before I understood the business, the product was the key. Um, it's probably my favorite thing to talk about with this, with this company. And I love LifeVantage. I love the, the business side of it. I love the community. But the product, um, the NRF2 activation, which is really the, the cornerstone of LifeVantage, um, is big. This is a big deal, folks. Um, in 2011, there were seven peer-reviewed published research papers. Now there are, I just looked today before I got on, there are 28 listed in PubMed on ProTandem NRF2 activator specifically. There are some others on some of our other products, but on that one, there are 28. So it has continued to roll out more and more science about the importance of activating the NRF2 pathway in our bodies. There were under 100,000 studies on oxidative stress, and now there are over 254,000 studies on oxidative stress. And really what we know about oxidative stress is that it is the root cause of over 200 of the diseases that we deal with on a daily basis. And, and our, our healthcare system, our understanding of how to treat disease, I think has done a phenomenal job with diseases um, that can be treated with antibiotics. And even some of the, the vaccines that we have created in the past um, have been helpful in that arena. We've not done a very good job, however, with the autoimmune problems. And there's a direct correlation between the gut and the brain. There's a gut-brain connection that has been um, disturbed, I guess is the best way to put it, by what's happened just with the food that we eat, with the air that we breathe, with the water, with the soil, um, the additives. We, we used to feed people around the farm. You know, there were, we had lots of farmers and they fed people within a certain square mileage around each farm. But because of what's changed in our world and so much of our population is is in metropolitan areas that we've had to find ways to make our food supply last and be able to be transported and um, consolidated and um, dried and then rehydrated. I and mean, we've had to do all kinds of things to the way we eat in order to keep people fed. But there's downsides to that, and it has affected our gut. It's affected our enzyme production. It's affected the amount of free radicals that our bodies produce on a daily basis. So what's a free radical? That's probably a question that most people don't understand. I have lots of people say, well, you know, it's a far left or a far right political person. <laughs> Maybe so. But... <laughs> There's lots of radical ideas all over the place, but a free radical is literally a molecule that's missing an electron that is produced when we are exchanging fuel for energy, for instance. So we eat, the, the, the food turns into um, digested matter that goes into the cell and the mitochondria works with it to change it into ATP, which is the gasoline that runs our engine. So free radicals are a byproduct of burning that fuel. For you guys, and maybe even some of you gals who understand burning fuel in a gasoline engine, there's a byproduct to that, right? 
there's stuff that comes out the exhaust system. Um, it's not a clean burn. So that what's, what happens in our bodies in the cell is not a clean burn either. And so there is a byproduct that's called this free radical. And what it does, if you have watched the ABC primetime, in the animated portion that's showing that molecule or that, uh, that cell, there's that little Pac-Man looking thing that's going around inside the cell and it's literally chunking off pieces and parts of the cell. So that cell is being damaged, maybe not in great big ways, but in little ways. Well, we are constantly reproducing our cells. And depending on you know, which, which group you listen to, every seven years or every 15 years, every cell in your body is new. So we're, we're always turning them over and making new ones. But in the same way that if you get an ink blot on the original paper that you print off your printer and you get some ink on it, if you put that, that original that's now got an ink blot on it in, in the um, copy machine, all the copies are gonna have the ink blot. That's kind of what's happening to our cells because as they're damaged and then we reproduce, we make them again, we replace the existing one. We're not replacing it in its original form. Now we're making a copy in the damaged form. And so as they get more and more damaged as time goes on, that literally is the root of disease and it's the root of aging. And so if you can slow down the damage that happens at the cellular level from those free radicals, then you've got an opportunity here to maybe slow down the aging process, to slow down the onset of disease. Now, yeah, there's genetic components to everything and, and maybe, maybe there's diabetes in your family history, in your background, in your, in your genetic, you know, predisposition. What that might mean is that the cells in your pancreas are more prone to the damage from those free radicals than someone whose family history does not include diabetes. But if all of that is still all related to the, the damage done by those free radicals, getting that under control is a big, big deal. And I, it's hard to express to people how important it is for young folks, even more so than those of us that have been around for a while and got history on us and already have damaged cells, already are experiencing some of that aging. But the younger people, if they can maintain the a decrease in that damage rate at the cellular level, then maybe some of those things that we've just always accepted are a natural part of the aging process, like joint pain or gray hair or, you know, whatever. There's all kinds of things we just say, ah, you know, we're just getting old. Maybe that doesn't have to happen, at least at the rate that we're now experiencing it. And if you look at Methuselah, he was 900 and some years old. Why? His food supply did not have the amount of damaging free radicals in it that ours does today. Things are different. Things have changed. Yes, we're living longer than 100 years ago. But how much, how many more people do we have on the, the high end of the spectrum that are living in um, less than the best quality of life situations. My feeling is, and, I, and what I like to encourage everyone to understand is if we're gonna be here, let's be healthy. Let's have everything keep working. Let's keep our brains working. Let's keep our bodies going. Let's do 
whatever we can to maintain that health at the cellular level. And for my children and my grandchildren, maybe they can just avoid some of this stuff. Now we're all gonna go from something and you know, we're not gonna live forever. But while we're here, <laughs> while we're here, let's, let's do it really well. Let's do it the very best we can. So our company has to be very careful about what we say um, about our products because we're not a drug. In order to be a drug, you have to be able to, um, you, you have to be able to know what that level is that is toxic to humans. It's going to be awfully hard to be toxic with salad. And this is basically a salad in a pill. Our NRF2 activator, our, it's, it's herbs. It's literally salad in a pill. So it, it's going to be very difficult to, to be toxic. So, and we don't want to be considered a drug. We don't want to be regulated uh, for any of those things that the FDA puts on you. Um, so we have to be careful about saying that we're, we're not going to treat, cure, or mitigate the symptoms of any disease. What we are going to do is lower the level of oxidative stress, an average of 40% in the first 30 days. And then it's cumulative after that individually, but it can be measured and has been repeatedly. This study has been done over and over and over again. And the results are always the same. And it works on every mammal on the planet. And we have patents. If you wanna really understand how far reaching um, this product is, read the patents. The patents are available, they're online. You can go on the internet and find them. And I would recommend that you read them because they say in the patents things that we as a company cannot say. But it will be very helpful for you to understand some of those things that the patents had to prove in order to get the patent in the first place. So we have, as far as I know, and this may have changed, seven, seven patents in this country and three international patents and that was just on the NRF2. And we have patents on our other products coming along as well. Um, so compliance will be watching over us and need to be, we need to be our own policemen. We need to police each other. We need to be very careful about what we're saying um, because we want the world to know about us, but we don't need to exaggerate. The, the truth <laughs> is phenomenal enough. We don't need to make up stories about the things that people are experiencing when you lower their oxidative stress. Um, the company has gone on to provide additional products that work with our NR NRF2 activator. Um, the NRF1 works specifically on the mitochondrial um, activity within the cells. If you think about the, the mitochondria is literally the workhorse in your cell that exchanges your fuel for energy and creates that ATP, which is the gas that runs our engine. And because of oxidative stress, we have, as we age, fewer and fewer mitochondria in each cell, and some of the ones that are there aren't working at full capacity. So when you activate the NRF1 pathway, which communicates to the DNA that controls something called mitochondrial biogenesis, which literally means making more and repairing existing mitochondria, Think about your heart. That muscle never stops 24 seven. It runs and runs and runs. 
it's got the most mitochondria of any cell, any of the organs in your body because it never stops. Your brain would be the next one. So let's think about if it's, say it's supposed to have 400 and because of either disease, aging, you know, multiple things can affect it, but maybe now it's only got 300. And maybe 250 of them are working well and 50 of them are kind of limping along. So activating that NRF1 pathway to re-energize or activate the mitochondrial biogenesis is a big deal. It's a big deal. The two work together. They're kind of like the one-two punch against that whole aging piece. And then we added on the NAD and the NAD works with sirtuin enzymes. So now you're going to be metabolizing well, but then how is your body going to uptake that energy that you've just created? So there's a lot to this. This is a very science-based company. And it's not um, voodoo science. It's the real deal. It's real stuff. You can, you can get some scientific experts to look at this and they're, they're going to be wowed by it. Um, we have NRF2 activation in our skincare line. One of the very first um, studies that I read back in 2011 was from Louisiana State University. And they contacted the company and said, you folks better come up with a topical application because this stuff, it makes some serious dents in skin disease. Again, we can't make that claim. We can't say we're going to fix your skin problem, but we can say we can, it's anti-aging. We can increase the nerve to activation in your skin cells. And if you want to know what oxidative stress does, there's tons of, of diagrams and graphs on the internet that you can look at that just show you the damage done in all the different parts of our body by high levels of oxidative stress. And along that line, you know, we're, we're dealing with a pandemic right now, and I'm, I'm not here to say that we're going to stop that, but there are studies out there about the relationship of NRF2 activation and the COVID-19. When I first looked, there were 20. Now there are 48 studies about NRF2 activation and COVID-19. So what, what we have here is pretty spectacular. It's, it's something that the world needs to know about. And as a longtime healthcare worker, I, I feel obligated to get this message out to the world. I, one of the first meetings I ever went to was in Indianapolis. It was, I think maybe a, a month and a half after I first joined. And the, the gentleman that got up in front of this group was a Vietnam vet. And he had on his camo and his cap that said Vietnam, and he looked pretty rugged. He looked like he'd been through it. And he said, I'm here because I haven't slept more than an hour in a row for 40 years until last week. And he said, the fourth day on Pro Tandem, I slept for four hours without waking up. He said, you have no idea what it's like to sleep four hours when you've never slept more than an hour for 40 years. And then the tears started running out of the corners of his eye. And he said, I've got one goal. And that goal is to get this product in the hands of every veteran in this country. He said they need it desperately and they deserve it. 
Well, by this time we were all on our feet. <laughs> Almost everybody in the audience was crying, but I have never forgotten that gentleman. And I've worked with veterans across this country in California and Florida, here in Michigan. Um, and it makes a difference. It makes a difference. If you can have more energy, if you can sleep, if you can have fewer um, bad dreams, how does oxidative stress affect us? It's different for every single one of us. Where I'm out of balance is different than where you're out of balance. But if we can... Your body knows what the right balance is and that activation thing, you know, we talk about flip the switch. Literally that, if you can think about the communication getting from the protein messenger on the outside of your cell to your DNA and the wires not plugged in. So the message isn't getting there. And some of you I know on here are, are healthcare professionals. So you know what a junctional rhythm is in your heart. You know, if that, if that activation of the right and the left side of the heart to be in proper rhythm is not working, the left side of your heart is going to pump anyway, because you'll die if it doesn't. So it's got this mechanism in there. It's just going to keep pumping, but it not, might not be in the right rhythm, but it's going to pump. Well, that's kind of what happens if you're not getting the right message to your DNA of how many of between four and 500 different enzymes it should be making. If that message isn't getting there, it might be making way too many inflammatory enzymes, not enough anti-inflammatory enzymes, too many enzymes that cause scarring, not enough that cause, that, that keep from over scarring. Enzymes that run the synapse firing in your brain or the digestive enzymes. There's so many different enzymes that are necessary for your body to function optimally. And when they're not being produced in the right amounts, that's when we get in trouble. That's when things start to go haywire. But your body knows what that right amount is when it's getting the message. And so all NRF2 act activation does is get the message through. It plugs it in, so you flip the switch, you turned it on, oh, I know what to do now. And so your body then goes back to making these enzymes in the amounts that you did when you were a kid. Do we get fixed overnight? No. <laughs> Is it gonna fix everything? No. I just had a hip replacement. It wasn't gonna repair my damaged hip. But I left the same day that I had the surgery. And I've not taken any narcotics for pain. And I walk without a limp or a cane and it's been three weeks. So it's not that you're not going to still have some issues, but if we can maintain our health and our, our positive mental attitude, it goes a long way towards making our lives tolerable, actually more than tolerable, wonderful. So it's important to get this message out. Um, I don't know if, if I've covered everything anybody wants to talk about, but I'm open for questions if anyone has questions. Marsha, this is Sylvia Morales. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay. You did a wonderful, wonderful job. I, oh, I loved your stories and your um, knowledge. What I really would love to hear from you, um, I know you at first didn't like network marketing. How do you open the door for other people when they don't want, ne uh, they don't want you to have anything to do with network marketing? Um. That's been a, an interesting evolution for me. Um, I really struggled with that in the beginning. You know, I was embarrassed and 
you know, everybody thought, oh, network marketing, that's for people who don't want to have a real job or can't get a real job or they just want to, you know, make their friends buy from them. It, I had all kinds of bad ideas. Well, what I do now is that's the first thing we talk about. Um, explaining to them how this company actually got into network marketing is different than how most of the network marketing companies that I'm aware of uh, came into existence. So this company did retail with this product to begin with. It was for sale in GNCs and health food stores all around the country, but nobody knew what it was. And it sat on the shelf next to things like vitamin C and the people in the stores didn't know what it was or how to explain it. And of course you can't put all, all that information on a label and so people weren't getting it, but somebody understood it and they got it to, to the ABC primetime investigative reporter there. And so he went to prove that it wasn't true. When that thing aired one time, it was like nine minutes long. When that aired, those stores sold out overnight all across the country. They were out of product. And they wanted more, but they couldn't get more because the company wasn't used to having that kind of a demand. I think they had five and a half million dollars in orders overnight. And they didn't have they didn't have the raw materials to even make it. They only had one line of production going, so they could not meet the demand. All right. And the the interest just kind of went away. Well, by the time they got the product back available, the interest had gone because, you know, out of sight, out of mind, if people only got one bottle, then we know it takes more than one month. You know, I tell everybody you need to give it one month for every decade you've been alive before you're really going to get a full effect. So they just weren't selling again. And they didn't have any money now because they spent all their money in getting new product. Um, to for doing any advertising. And so they brought in a specialist who said, you need to change your distribution method from retail to direct sales. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. You know, they had about as much interest in that as I did. It's like, no way. <laughs> I'm not doing network marketing. But they really didn't have any other option. And eventually the specialists in marketing convinced them to give it a try. And so they said they'd try it. So that was in 2009. They pulled everything off the shelves in May and started uh, their fiscal year, I believe June or July 1st. I don't know, whatever it was. The first year, now they'd sold, the most they'd sold in retail was about half a bottle per store per month. That was their general sales, about three and a half million. The very first year they did almost 12 million. It was 11.9 million in the first year. So they tripled in the first year because people had to talk to each other. They told the stories about what they were experiencing and, and how this product worked. And so, Unlike a lot of network marketing companies that just start with network marketing, they might have a comp plan and now they're looking for a product. <laughs> they just, you know, it was all about money. Here we had a product and we had to figure out how to get it out into the marketplace so that people could understand it. And word of mouth is probably the best way. I mean, you can bury something too. How many of you have been to a bad movie? You always tell people, don't bother. That one's terrible. It's the same thing here. If it's good, it's this is the best way to get the word out. So um, I, ha I had to eat a lot of crow because I was dead wrong on this one from a business perspective. In the corporate world, for those of you who live in that corporate world or even in the in the corporate medical world, the, the people at the top 
if you think about them walking around on the top of a of a wall <laughs> of a castle wall and they're on the top and here come all the people that want to climb to the top and they put their ladders up against the wall are those people at the top pulling you up no they're pushing the ladder over because they don't want you to take their job that's not the case in this business because you're not going to be successful if your people aren't successful this is where you're hanging over there you're pulling everybody up that you can get to come up and help it's it's almost a, a, a 180 of what you see in the corporate world it's so refreshing um kai and i are not on the same line at all but we are dear friends as a result of getting to know each other through this business her husband and, and my husband and I spent time together, you know, recently on one of the trips that we went to. There's a lot more to this company's network marketing. And I can't speak to any of the rest of them because I've never done any of the other ones. But I have, I have a lot of people who have done other ones who now are in Life Vantage who say there, there's no comparison. So I always try to go first thing to the whole network marketing piece and share, you know, how frustrating it was for me in the beginning and embarrassing. And, you know, I didn't want to tell anybody that I was doing, <laughs> but it got to the point where I didn't care how they sold this. It was so important that we get the word out. It doesn't matter to me how they, how they sell it. And when you have that kind of passion, it's hard for somebody to come against it just on the business side. I also have two grandchildren that wouldn't exist if it weren't for this product. That's another long story, which we'll, maybe we'll say for another time. But, you know, people can say, oh, it's snake oil. Oh, it's not real. Oh, I didn't feel a thing. Okay. But I know better. I understand the science and I've seen so many changes in others and in myself and in the people that I love and care about that I, I'm just really on a mission along with a lot of people to make sure that people have the choice because it's always a choice. You have a choice about your health. And there are things that you can do that make it better and make it worse. And it's a choice. But if you don't even know that there's a choice or an option, then that's on us because we have an obligation to make that, that known to the world as best we can. I don't know if that helps, Sylvia, but... Yes, it, that did. <laughs> And, and, and to me, the more emphasis on the story, more emphasis on relieving them of the um, why they're scared, find out, ask more questions. And then once I get that out of the way, um, then you can go more into it if there's an interest. If not, um, you can't force them. That's all to it. Right. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Thank you. So thank you, Sylvia, for that wonderful question. And once again, you guys, I believe that you, all of you, all of us here were able to have that wonderful treat tonight. I know an hour of training about the products and I love Marsha's story. And I love the way she explained to us how valuable our products uh, can be. And it was really rewarding for her, even for Debbie, for all of us, for Vandy, for me, for Dr. Jean DeLucia. So uh, thank you for staying on with us. And uh, this is such a great, Marsha, what an incredible, amazing night you've given to us. We are leaving this wonderful people happy, big smile on their face. And we've got a lot of newbies here that are probably <laughs> spinning their head because of excitement of what they have in their hands. So um, you are an amazing girl and uh, you are a part of my success as well. So thank you so much. 
Thank you for joining us tonight. What a valuable treat for us. And guys, for those people, uh, just jump on my Zoom call, but we're just going to probably talk in a few minutes. Uh, but jump on a mic Zoom call right after this. And uh, let's give Marsha, uh, you know, drop a comment, uh, drop a number five below uh, your comment section. Drop a number five. So that give her a lot, lots and lots of five. Uh, we love you, Marsha. And thank you again for gracing our show. Thank you, Vandy, for co-hosting with me and for Dr. Jean Delusion.